I'm Flavia Namola. I'm an HIV advocate for young people living with HIV and young girls. I'm a youth born and living with HIV. I come from Uganda. I work with Joint People Research Centre, Centre of Excellence that provides treatment and research to people living with HIV. I'm a peer educator and a youth coordinator for Stigma this year. My main reason was to share the experience of growing up with HIV. As youth born, living, born and living with HIV, we face a lot of challenge when it comes to treatment. And we have a lot of drug resistance in our country. So as it is a big challenge, since we are growing, we are not becoming older, that we shall die of other ages. So I need researchers, I've come to, I expect researchers to give me a brief and details of what they are doing to help young people that are resistant to their medication and what they are doing to find formulations that are suitable for every age group because you have those kids that cannot take drugs and a lot of pill burden is a challenge. So we need a formulation that will be suitable for all of us, like an injectable. Maybe I expect them to talk about something good, the cure, because we have hope in everything. Research is all that we look up to in our lives. To me, the main achievement of EDCBT will be the different trials that it has done in children and adolescents. These are a big milestone. Because of it, we are able to find the regimens that are suitable for the kids. So the kids didn't have to share the medications with the adults anymore. And also, we are able to find a second line for our kids that are failing on a first and second line. So we are grateful to that, that they are doing everything they can to make life of children favorable in every way. So with their trials, the chappas, the breather, the arrow, they are really doing good. I have no complaint. And my recommendation is maybe we need to involve more of the community. Since EDCP, or based on the trials for the young people, we need their views. We need them to know. We, we need you guys to know what young people really want because down there, they want a lot. Maybe they no longer have the pill. Everyone is talking about the injectable, the three months pill a day, the three months injection a month. So it will be easier if you get to hear from them. Please involve the community. Please invite them more. Have something to do with community. Yes, research is good, but we are not in the laboratories. We are down in the community, and these are the people who take part in research. You make your research proposals, we get the people. So the people need to know more about the projects that they have. These wonderful things I've had yesterday, the Chappas trial, the Chappas 4, the breather, those things that are coming out, community doesn't know. Our young people don't know that there is hope for them. When they fell on their second line, they feel like their life is finished. They don't know that there is hope for a third line. There is hope for a better second line that won't be resistant to the virus. So I think we need community involvement. And my main recommendation will be, please bring community on board. Let us have community members on this project. Let them tell you what community expects and let them take back the feedback from you to the community.